Well, there's the price of gas today, Sunday. What is this, the 10th of November at our local Nittany Minute Mart. Boy, you'd think it's winter time. 48 degrees Sunday night here at uh, 4.30. Rain pouring down, rain pouring, pouring, pouring all day. Just coming back from a trip up to my mother's, but I didn't film any of it because it was raining so hard that you couldn't see anything anyway out the windshield. So I'm back. I just been sitting here at Minute Mart. I pulled in Minute Mart just for the heck of it, just to people watch for a while. Thank you for all the thoughts and prayers on my back. It was terrible there yesterday. I don't know what I did. I Well, I'm sure you've all probably done it. You just move the wrong way. And you can feel that crack and then it's Boy, that's what I did. I just moved the wrong way. You know when you have chronic acute pain like that you gotta make every move very carefully and i try to but sometimes sometimes it gets you and that's what happened to me yesterday i think i just made the wrong move so i had heat on it last night sort of alternated between heat and ice i think ice makes it feel better heat feels good when it's on there but I think in the long run, ice makes it better, better. Anyway, it wasn't feeling too bad all day. Or all, yeah. Last night and all night long, it was pretty bad. And then this morning, I got up and got moving a little bit. And I think that helps, too, to just get moving. I'm going to have to get my scarf out here pretty soon. Well, I got my scarf right here. Anyway, I got moving and that kind of loosened it up a little bit. So I decided to run up, see my mother. But like I said, I didn't film any of it. This is raining so hard. And she didn't want to be filmed. She wasn't especially having a great day today. She, Those hearing aids aren't worth a plug nickel that she got. She can't hear with them or without them. So... The conversation was kind of back and forth, repeating myself, trying to get her to understand what I was saying. Anyway, other than that, she's all right, I guess. She's always cold. They don't have it real warm up there in that place. But she's always cold all the time anyway. Uh, I just pulled over here. I killed some time. Let y'all know. Let y'all know I was feeling a little better in my back. I don't know where to look. Where's the camera right there? So I am. My back's a little bit better. Manageable anyway. And I know I've said before, the most comfortable place is my seat right here in the van. It's just comfortable for me. I'll have to have my son look out for a seat at a junkyard like this and put in my house. So, I did say it's cold out. It's 48. I wonder, wonder if the temperature's going to drop down below freezing tonight. It could get exciting out here on the highways. I don't know if it's supposed to or not. We desperately need the rain, but we don't need freezing freezing rain. I think it's supposed to end tonight, though. I think he said by morning. He, the weatherman, I think they said by morning it was going to be gone. The whole country is in a drought, they say, so we need the rain. I know the creeks around here are really low. We don't get... We don't get enough rain. It rained all day today, but, you know, we need a lot more. 
So I'm probably going to go home and get something to eat. I don't know what. Still going to have that cabbage and wieners. So I'm still planning on that. Maybe I'll get to that tonight. I don't know. Or maybe something quick. A couple hamburger patties or something. I don't know yet. We'll see when I get in the house. But I just wanted to stop in and give you a short video and let you know everything's okie dokie. And uh, we're moving around a little bit better. I hope everybody's staying dry and or whatever, staying warm, staying cold, staying cool, staying warm. Having a great Sunday weekend. Tomorrow's, I guess I just happened to think of that. Tomorrow's Veterans Day, or at least I forgot this was a three-day weekend, isn't it? So, yeah, tomorrow's, tomorrow's Veterans Day. Amazing. I just thought of that. So, thank you to all the veterans out there, past, present, and future. That's what keeps us safe. My daughter is one of them. I'll have to give her a call tomorrow. And her husband. All righty, everybody. Just wanted to say thanks and thanks for all the prayers and thoughts. And uh, keep moving. It's all we can do. Stay frosty. Dale out.